This tutorial shows you how to view the online album, including photographs from your recent trip, as well as the process for selecting and downloading the images to fulfill the photo package you purchased. And so when the photographs are ready, you will receive an email that looks like this, and it will confirm the photo package that you purchased right here in the middle of the email. It will also provide you with a link to view the online album, which is here in this green. It says view photos hyperlink. And it will provide you with the password that you will need to get into the album. One thing to note is this is case sensitive. I always use cap, uh, capital letters, so make sure that your caps lock is on. So let's go ahead, uh, oh, also, you will have a coupon code down here that is specific to you that allows you to redeem your photo package already purchased. So that's going to prevent you from being charged again. It's very important at checkout, which we'll go through. So let's go ahead and click the link to view photos. And it will take you to the screen like this, prompting you for the password. And so I'm going to type it in again, make sure that your caps lock is on and click enter and it will take you to the album. So this is just a sample album. You can either click this open button, which just shifts you down to where the images start, or you can use the scroll bar on the right to go up and down. This example just has a few images. Yours will have a lot more. So make sure that you scroll all the way down to see everything that's within that first folder. The images will be populating as you scroll. You'll know that you're at the end of the images in that particular folder when you see this view more button at the bottom. There are folders that will be horizontally here across the top that's under the main photo in the album. In this case, they're gener generically named folder one and folder two. Yours will be specific to a site or event or something of that nature that makes it easy for you to navigate through the album and find photographs that you want. Uh, you can easily go back and forth uh, to the albums just by clicking the name of the folder. And to select the favorite photos, uh, or select photos as your favorites that will fulfill your photo package quantity, you will select the heart icon in the top right when you hover over the image. There's a couple ways to view the photographs. This is in grid view, but you can also enlarge them. So if you want to see them larger and scroll through that way, you can use the arrows to the right and left to do that and you can see the heart icon uh, in the enlarged view is here in the middle and it says favorite so you can select them that way too. To go back to grid view just click the X and you'll go back this way. So in this example I'm just going to select five photographs to fulfill a five photo package purchase. So I'm going to click the heart and the very first one that you do is going to prompt you for an email address. The reason for this is so that I know which photographs you specifically are choosing to fulfill your package. And it's also the email address that the link to download the images will go to. So I'm just going to put in an email address and click let's go. So you can see it briefly shows here uh, that it's added that photograph to my favorites. So I'll continue clicking items as my favorite. You can see when I do that it pops up with uh, heart icon in the top left showing me that I have selected that item as a favorite. I can go to another folder and continue. So now I'm to five photographs, but let's just say if I purchased a photo package of 50 and I'm not entirely sure how many I have selected, I can click the heart icon that's at the top right over here under the main photo in the album. You can see there's a little red mark by it. So I'm going to click that. It takes me to my favorites folder where I can see I have five photographs that I've selected as a favorite. You can also click again in here and it will show you which five you have. You can also remove 
uh, items from your favorite by just clicking the heart again and selecting remove and it will do that and then to go back to the album if you want to add more you just go up here there's a back button within the album you go back twice and it takes you back to images in the album if for some reason you start this process you need to stop and pick back up at a different time that's more convenient that's okay you can do that you would just close out of the album and then when you're ready to start again pull it back up put your password in again to get into the album remember it's case sensitive once you get back in you won't see these uh, heart icons or anything and this heart over here underneath the main photo in the album will just be grayed out like this cart is that's okay you'll click that and then when you do that it prompts you for your email address you'll put your email address in that you used the first time around and once you do that you'll see all the photographs that you currently have at, marked as a favorite and then you can just continue until you're at the quantity that you need to fulfill your package so once you're done with selecting the total number of photos that you purchased you will go back into this favorites folder and on any of these it doesn't matter you would click the cart icon that's at the top right and then you see the photo packages that are here and in this again I'm keeping with this example the five photo package is the one that I'm fulfilling there will be a price here don't worry about that your coupon code is going to wipe that price out so you will click the plus sign so that your quantity here shows one if for any reason you click it too many times that's okay you just need to click the minus sign until you get to a quantity of one you only want this to show one the coupon code you have is redeeming one photo package so if you put two or three in there it's going to have a balance due all right so then I click view cart this is just summarizing again I can confirm I have one uh, quantity for a five photo package and then I'm going to check out all right and so here you show you see that it shows a balance due but there's apply a coupon section here that you're going to click and the member back in the email there's a coupon code so I'm just going to copy this select it copy uh, control C and then in, in here control V to paste it or you can type it in either way and then click apply so now you see that the balance due is zero so that's what it should look like the billing and shipping information is procedural so uh, you'll just fill it in you're not receiving any physical goods this is a digital delivery but this is procedural it still requires it so you'll fill that information in and click next and again this is irrelevant it's going to default to zero you'll click next and then it should say here no payment required for this order if it does not say that you need to go back a couple of steps and make sure that you have either one selected the right photo package or two um, that you have a quantity of one and that you've used your coupon code so once this you're to this point you'll click place order it's going to bring up a screen that says you know thank you for your order and give you an order number you will also receive that confirmation through email this is just one I did from earlier so it'll show an order confirmation and then once I'm able to process the order you'll get an email with the download link to download those photographs to your computer and so I'll just click that now and it takes you to a black screen here it says click the link below to start the download so there's a zip file so I'll click the zip file and on my computer down on the bottom left it's showing me that it's downloading and this one went fast so I click click it once it's completed and I'll see all of the JPEG files of the photographs that I chose as my favorites. So that's now on your computer. You can copy them and put them into a folder that you will remember where they are. Right now it's in a downloads folder. <clears throat>
You can also put them onto a CD if you'd rather have it on a CD as a backup. And that's essentially it. If you have any questions or trouble as you're going through, you can always email me at beth at b, the letter b, creativeinspiration.com. And you can see that right up here. And that's it.